What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the Dreadnought returning for the Forsaken DLC now there's been a lot of speculation on this matter and with actual gameplay footage of what looks to be the Dreadnought people are now even more convinced it's a place that will return but before we get into that guys every single month to give back to my most loyal of subscribers I'm giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation to be in with a chance of winning it drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description for the giveaway fast and put energy people good luck everybody Okay, so the Dreadnought is a place we saw in Destiny 1 originally, and here's a little information on it. Oryx used a Dreadnought to travel to the solar system after learning that the Guardians of Earth had killed his son, Krota. Upon arrival, he positioned his ship in the rings of Saturn and promptly wiped out the defending Awoken's fleet with the ship's weapon. As a result of Oak's assault on their base on Mars' moon Phobos, the Cabal sent their own infiltration unit, the Skyburners, to assault the ship, seeking vengeance. The Skyburners rammed their ship, the Antalian Exodus 6, into the Dreadnought and actually managed to breach the hull. Following the crash, Primus Taon, I think that's how it's pronounced, attempted to find and confront Oryx, only to be taken before getting a chance. From there, Valus Maul and Valus Talon attempted to overload the Dreadnought's reactor, but were stopped by a team of Guardians as the resulting explosion would have likely destroyed the entire solar system. Cade 6 mobilized a Guardian to infiltrate their ship and establish a transmit zone, allowing other Guardians to access the Dreadnought in an attempt to end Oryx's incursion. And that's basically how the gates open for us to invade and kill Oryx multiple times in the raid. Now the Dreadnought is a place which, like many other things from D1, were left unexplained in terms of what happened to them moving into D2. Theoretically the Dreadnought would still be there. So is it and will we actually get to go there in the Forsaken DLC? Well if we look at the end credits to Destiny 2 as you can see on screen now, we actually see the Dreadnought within the rings of Saturn. Check it out. Something else seriously interesting is, if we go to the planet Titan and we look up into the sky, we can actually see the rings of sand, check it out. There is actually a cutout in the ring and in the direct center of that people is a mini blip. Many many people are speculating that to be the dreadnought. I also think it is too. So it's there, but will we go back to it? Well thanks to the epic people who follow me on Twitter sharing new information back and forth. If you don't follow me you should, I do post nudes at the PJC is where it is at. But yeah, many thanks to you guys, I was forwarded some pretty interesting information via a snippet from one of the recent Game Informer articles on the Forsaken DLC. As you can see on screen now, we see this titan running around on what looks to be, in the opinion of many, the Dreadnought. I mean, just look at it, it is identical to what we experienced back in the day. Full of hive, the design, the architecture of the ship, everything people. So is this the Dreadnought? Well, it does look like the place, but in my opinion, I don't think it is people. I mean, it would be great. There are slight connections with the Dreadnought and the Awoken, as we heard earlier. Oaks used a Dreadnought to travel to the solar system after learning that the Guardians of Earth killed his son Krota. Upon arrival, he positioned the ship in the rings of Saturn and promptly wiped out the defending Awoken fleet with this ship's weapon. So there is a connection there, but is that enough? I don't know. But I mean it looks like the Dreadnought for sure, we can all agree on that. But it could just be a hive ship. We go here maybe for a certain mission, who knows, again though that few could work with the Dreadnought. But for me a place as such as the Dreadnought will be more than just a single mission within the expansion. The Dreadnought will be a part of something of its own in my opinion, maybe its own DLC. Or to think about it, it could be a major influence over this DLC which we just don't know about yet. But it is coming people, it really is, and this is why I believe that. If we go back to that cutscene, we see major clues into the actual DLCs and the order they've come. 
We see the light from the Traveller explode into the surrounding universe. It first hits Mercury people, the Curse of Osiris DLC was based on Mercury, then it hits Mars, while the Warman DLC was based on Mars. Then it hits the Reef, and we all know the major space within the 4 second DLC is the Reef, and then we see the rings of Saturn with a Dreadnought within them. And in the end, out of our galaxy pretty far away, we see them triangle ships, which we don't know much about at the moment. But we do see it hit the Dreadnought after it's hit the Reef, after it's hit Mars, after it's hit Mercury. So if we go by this order, which has been 100% accurate so far, the Dreadnought is coming people. But upon thinking that, the Taken do play a major role in this DLC. We have seen the corruption spilt by them on the Dreaming City. What are the Taken doing there? Why are they there? Does the Dreadnought hold any clues? Hence why we go there in the expansion maybe? It kind of makes sense if you do think about it like that. If you haven't heard, upon defeating all 8 Barons within the Forsaken DLC campaign and finally facing off against Uldren, we actually learn at this point in the campaign that a greater threat is out there. It's then and only then do we get to go to the Dreaming City and as soon as we land upon the Dreaming City we are sucked into a realm of the Taken. It all does make sense for sure but at the moment people without actually confirmation we can't say it's factual. Facts are though, the Dreadnought is there, the Taken are there, the Forsaken campaign beholds a greater threat. What is that threat? Does it have something to do with the Dreadnought? Well, people, we will just have to wait and see. Another thing which basically confirms the Dreadnought is returned is the fact of the data mined audio files from way, way, way back from Destiny 2 by the way, many of these audio files contained information regarding the Dreadnought via in-game vendors. Here take a listen to some of them. Be vigilant Guardian, the Dreadnought will test your light. The Dreadnought must be understood, and New Monarchy plans to be at the forefront of that understanding. Back to Oryx's floating tomb then. Without your efforts, we'll never understand the Dreadnought. Interesting. The Dreadnought is full of surprises. Your light must defend every inch of the Dreadnought. Good. Good. I can't imagine the horror you've seen on the Dreadnought. You and your ghost are brave to risk boarding that ship. But what do you think about all of this? Do you think the Dreadnought will return? Do you think it will be a major part of this expansion which hasn't been discussed yet or disclosed yet? Or do you think the Dreadnought will have its own DLC for Destiny 2? Let me know your opinion on this down below within that comments section people. But on that note we have come to the end of the video. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out and I do appreciate that support. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong